At some point or another, you've probably heard the age-old question, if a tree falls in the forest and there's no one around to hear it, does it still make a sound? To some people, this question seems so silly it's not even worthy of conversation. Of course it makes a sound. It's a big old tree that just fell over. How could it not? But then again, if the answer was that simple, then how on earth did a question about a hypothetical tree become so well known? My dad was the first person to introduce this question to my brothers and me back when we were growing up. We found out pretty quickly that there is indeed more to this question than meets the eye. Or actually meets the ear, in this case. At the heart of the question is an issue regarding the existence of a sound in the absence of a person. So the first thing we need to do is figure out the relationship between a sound's existence and the person that hears it. Hey genius, I'll give you a hint. There is no relationship. Sound can exist just fine without a person there to hear it. Or can it? So let's start by finding out exactly what sound is. We're going to need a definition. Let me go grab my dictionary. <laughs> I don't have a dictionary. Does anybody own a dictionary? We're Googling this. Dictionary.com defines sound as the sensation produced by stimulation of the organs of hearing by vibrations transmitted through the air or other medium. Wikipedia says that sound is an audible sense perceived by the brain. Hmm. Interesting. So it seems as though the relationship between a sound and a person lies within the brain. So in other words, sound is just your brain's interpretation of vibrations being transmitted through the air. And these vibrations are what we call sound waves. Yes, that's right. Yes. See, I know things. But earlier you said that sound can exist without somebody there to hear it. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Sound can exist just fine without a person there to hear it. See? Yeah, well, you're ugly. But you look just like... never mind. A sound wave is a type of wave known as a mechanical wave. They said wave three times in the same sentence. A sound wave travels through the air in the same way that a compression wave travels through this slinky. Once the wave is released, it propagates down the length of the slinky as each coil essentially bumps into the one in front of it, transferring energy from one coil to the next. When it comes to sound waves, you can think of each of the coils on the slinky like a molecule of air. So when a tree falls in the forest and hits the ground, it transfers energy into the air molecules around it, which then bump into their neighboring molecules, and those molecules bump into their neighboring molecules, and so forth and so on, until finally the sound wave reaches your ear. <gasps> and at that point, your ear generates an electrical signal that travels along the nerve until it hits your brain and is finally interpreted as what we call sound. So to return back to the original question, and this is the important part, if a tree falls in the forest and generates those mechanical waves in the air and no one is around, all we're left with is a defined pattern of air molecules bumping into one another, but no sound. Sound only exists in the brain. Now to be fair, this is how you perceive all of reality. Everything really just boils down to your sensory organs receiving stimuli, which your brain then interprets as different sensations. So this argument doesn't just apply to sound, it applies to all your senses. And at the same time, it's kind of a trick question in and of itself. No matter how you look at it, at least a portion of this question boils down to how you define the word sound. There are plenty of people out there who include the concept of the sound wave into that definition and say that any mechanical wave propagating through a medium that can be interpreted by the brain as sound is sound. Wrong! <coughs> what? So you'll definitely find arguments for both sides out there. This is just my take on the subject. It just so happens to be the correct one.